Hello students, today we will learn about Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange. Stock Exchange are very important because Stock Exchange is considered various companies and if we go through the Stock Exchanges then we will get the idea about various companies and also we can say that we will get the about, get idea about the health of Indian economy. So first uh, let us learn about Bombay Stock Exchange. Uh, this stock exchange is very important because it is one of oldest stock exchange in India. Uh, it was established during the new economic reform. That is, India was uh, India was going through a major economic reform during the late 1980s, uh, and formally India took or adopted new economic policy or new economic reform policy in 1991. So this stock exchange was established during that time and uh, now it it considered most uh, it considered 30 most actively traded stocks of different companies. That is if we go through uh, this Bombay stock exchange web page or website then we will see that uh, there are around 30 uh, companies there are 30 companies uh, these 30 companies are most actively traded companies in india so if an investor want to invest uh, in company and if a if the particular investor try to find out uh, the most actively traded companies then uh, the investor can go through the web page and can get uh, can get the idea of the health of the of various uh, or, or top 30 actively traded companies so it will be very easy for those who want to invest in most actively traded companies because the the companies which are doing well uh, uh, and uh, which are doing well there is a possibility to make greater profit uh, in those companies so these stock exchanges are very important for investors this is the uh, picture of Bombay Stock Exchange and uh, we can see from the circle that there are 30 companies these 30 companies are most actively traded companies in India uh, it may vary from time to time uh, and also uh, this Bombay Stock Exchange also known as BAC Sensex and also it is uh, can be called as S and P BAC Sensex. The more interestingly, the base year of Bombay Stock Exchange is still 1978-79. That is, this year is taken as 100, and gradually it increases or decreases over time. And we can yeah, and the business in Bombay Stock Exchange is done uh, either in Indian rupee or in US dollar and obviously i have already said that the importance of bombay stock exchange has increases increased uh, after uh, the new economic uh, policy because uh, various investors it may be from india or it may be from outside india are investing in various companies and uh, if we consider if we talk about the investment then uh, the importance of this type of stock exchange uh, increased because an investor can get idea of the health of various or top 30 companies from these exchanges and so we can say that these exchanges are one of barometer uh, of indian economy or uh, or or health of indian economy this is a barometer so and also uh, since 2003 uh, it is based on free float market capitalization methodology that is it consider only freely available share so there are many shares which are uh, restricted uh, restricted by various uh, um, various others um, methods but in Bombay stock exchange or sorry but in a free float market capitalization methodology we consider only those shares which are freely available for uh, for 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 the investors. Uh, there are there are many companies uh, in Bombay Stock Exchange or BHC Sensex 
we can give example uh, some of them as uh, Yartel, Reliance Geo, Infosys, HDFC Bank, etc. Uh, also, uh, I want to note, I want to add one thing is that uh, these companies uh, varies time, varies time to time to time, and there is no fixed uh, uh, fixed. There is no fixed uh, method or restri restriction that these companies continue. Um, one company continue. Um, over the time so it changes from time to time so now let us consider or let us know about the national stock exchange because we have completed uh, Bombay stock exchange now let us consider the national stock exchange uh, this is the national stock exchange slide on national stock exchange national stock exchange established just after the new economic reform policy that is which was taken in 1991 and national stock exchange was established in 1992 so these two exchanges are very much very very most important in indian economy uh, one was bombay stock exchange was established in 1986 but national national stock exchange was established in 1992 so these are very 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 closely related also national stock exchange is 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 we can say we can think national stock exchange is a much more bigger than the Bombay Stock Exchange because there, there, there is no such restriction of 30. Uh, although um, National Stock Exchange has a different wing um, which is more formally known as Nifty 50. In Nifty 50 there are 50 companies uh, like uh, in Bombay Stock Exchange we consider only 30 companies but in Nifty 50 we consider 50 top most 50 companies or top 50 companies or well functioning 50 companies. Uh, these are the this is nifty 50 is a separate um, separate wing of national stock exchange but in national stock exchange there are uh, many companies uh, there is no such restriction and uh, as of june 2020 the value of national uh, stock exchange is around 2.27 trillion which makes it the world's largest stock exchange uh, national stock exchange conducts uh, transaction in the wholesale debt equity and derivative markets uh, national why national stock exchange is uh, important uh, than bombay stock exchange uh, actually national stock exchange was important because it was first fully automated advanced trading system uh, or advanced trading system in indian economy earlier there was bombay stock exchange but it was not fully automated and it doesn't it did not use advanced trading uh, advanced trading system but in 1992 national stock exchange was established with a vision that it must be fully automated and it it must be a more advanced trading system and there was also another objective that transparency should be increased in national stock exchange and, and to increase the transparency the national stock exchange uh, was established and we it was uh, it was and generally we think that this this uh, national stock exchange uh, is more transparent than any other stock exchange in indian capital market although now recent time uh, now during this time both of these exchanges are more much uh, transparent and both all of and both are fully automated and advanced but when it was established in 1991 it was uh, it was uh, the vision was that it will be uh, more transparent and automated and it will be more advanced so this is the national stock this is the main background of national stock exchange in this slide uh, I am showing you the uh, the picture of National Stock Exchange. So, if we go to web page of National Stock Exchange, then you will get uh, get a picture of like this. Uh, here, uh, by down arrow, I am showing the various name of various companies uh, which are uh, listed in Nifty Fifty and. Uh, I have already said that Nifty 50 is a separate part of National Stock Exchange. Uh, so 
if we go to national stocks exchange website web page then you will get a net a separate uh, separate um, box where nifty 50 are listed and if you go to nifty 50 then you will get a uh, picture like this uh, where there are 50 companies are listed and you will get the name of 50 companies and you will also uh, get idea about the value in market capitalization or the performance of nifty 50 from this uh, of, of these 50 companies from uh, from from that um, from that web page okay uh, today now i am completing here uh, i think i have clearly explained the national stock exchange and bombay stock exchange of india thank you for watching